Hey there, today I'm going to talk about a cultural anime. The anime name is in the video, just look for it carefully. If you don't know where to watch it, Google and Incognito are your best friend. The main character, Toka, is a loner and does not have any friends, just like me. When someone tries to invite her to have lunch, she keeps rejecting that guy. It seems that this is her first time having a conversation in a week. <laughs> She is from the countryside, so she is having a hard time to adapt herself in the city. She is feeling down because she could not make any friends for the entire year. So, she spent the entire year being alone and sad. She tries to comfort herself because she will be receiving some good stuff today. When she is on her way home, she overheard others talking about a magical girl. She is curious about that, but that is none of her business. When she reached home, she quickly opened her parcel. She bought some holy relic through the internet. Instead of being lazy, she is going to use them to spend her pastime wisely. You should do that in real life too. Without wasting any time, she quickly tests the holy relic on herself. She is going to start a solo let's play and review the relic at the same time. She is having a great imagination, or the Deliverman will give her some fresh organic protein using his big Excalibur. I would like to have what she is smoking on that day. I guess this is what will happen if you give them too much tips. After that, she managed to remove impurities from her body using the holy relic. She is relieved and happy at the same time. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> However, she did not know that someone is watching her solo Let's Play in 4K. That person is a girl and she is recording her gameplay using her phone. Toka is surprised and scared after she saw that, because that girl suddenly appeared out of nowhere behind her. That girl asked Toka to ignore her and continue her gameplay. She is basically live streaming at this point. Besides that girl, there is a floating thing that can talk. That looked like some sort of witchcraft. Toka is very scared and asks that girl about her identity. <laughs> After that, she emitted a bright light and transformed into her original form. Toka is surprised because that girl is her childhood friend. <laughs> her name is Kakua. She came from her hometown to visit Toka. Toka did not have a good memories with her because Kakoa keep doing all sort of biology experiments on her before this. This caused her body to become sensitive and every spot is a weak spot. Toka asked her about her intention of visiting her in Tokyo. Kakoa told her that she is a magical girl now and transform in front of her. She wants Toka to become a magical girl too. After that, the floating witchcraft talked to her. It showed them a projection. They must defeat some sort of monsters using magic. It explained that magical girl needs to receive a lot of fresh organic limited edition protein to generate their mana. However, Kakoa is too brutal so she cannot generate any mana at all. As a result, that thing wants Toka to become a magical girl because her imagination is wild as fuck. Toka has no idea what the hell is going on. She rejects them because she is already in college. They told her there is no rule against that. Kakoa keeps persuading her to join her as a magical girl too. <laughs> Toka has no choice but to accept their requests in the end. After that, they went to her college. They are targeting a classroom with some people in it. Kakoa wants Toka to become a magical girl in the classroom. She used some sort of control magic on Toka. As a result, Toka entered the classroom and interrupted the class. She immediately introduces herself to them as a magical girl. <laughs> the students are very surprised. After that, a projection of her solo Let's Play is being shown in the classroom. 
All of them can finally watch her gameplay in 4K. Toka is very embarrassed because she cannot control her body. When the requirements are fulfilled, Kakoa used magic to remove her control on Toka. She asked Toka to transform into a magical girl. After she is free, she became flustered and asked them to stop her livestream. Kakoa assured her that she will erase their memories after she transformed into a magical girl. So, Toka has no choice but to transform in front of them. When she is transforming, she is completely defenseless. This is her first time transforming, so it will take a long time for it to be completed. All of those guys are very glad to see her transforming in front of them. They quickly take pictures of her as references for their thesis. <laughs> She became very embarrassed and that interrupted the process. All of them are very excited after seeing her transformed into a magical girl. They wants to take more pictures for research purpose. The teacher is going to give her a very good grade after this. <laughs> However, the results are good and Kako erased their memories. They quickly left the classroom. Those guys has no idea what just happened. After that, Toka is still worried because those guys might still remember her activities. Kakoa assured her again that her magic is foolproof. She asked Toka to follow her because they have to fight a monster. Toka is currently wearing a battle gear that is made for women. It seems defenseless but the defense stat is over 9000. She is very embarrassed because she has to go through a lot of people. All of them are surprised to see her. What the fuck was that? After that, they found the monster. That monster is a fat piece of shit. He wants to touch their melons for research purposes. This is why the magical girl is tasked to defeat those things. Kakoa asked Toka to become her shield because her armor defense is very strong. In the meantime, they can collect a lot of mana. After he released a lot of organic protein, they collected enough mana. So, Kakoa used magic to defeat that guy. They are very impressed by her defense and mana generation. They have high hopes on her to become the strongest magical girl. She is officially a magical girl now and has to work with Kakoa. At least she is getting free protein now, just like her imagination. After defeating the monster, she has officially become a real magical girl now. On the next day, she thought that everything is just a dream. However, she found out Kakoa is sleeping right beside her, so this is reality and everything that happened yesterday is real. There is no turning back now, and she has no choice but to turn into a magical girl. She took Kakoa's phone and browsed its content because screw privacy. She found out that Kakoa has a lot of followers, and all of them are men of culture. When she is browsing the internet, she stumbled upon a cultural video. She realized that she is the main character in that video. <laughs> It seems like someone has recorded her fight in 4K and they uploaded it to Twitter so Elon Musk can watch it for the meme. Too bad Raid Shadow Legend is not going to sponsor them there. She is shocked after seeing that. So, she immediately asked Kakoa to wake up. However, Kakoa does not seem to give a damn about that. I guess she missed the part where that is her problem. She explained to Toka that this is their duties as magical girls. This means that they are giving full consent to others for filming them. Their content are royally free and will not be claimed by Sony. I hope Sony will not strike this video. Well, moving on, when they upload the educational video to the internet, the magical girls will get embarrassed. In the meantime, they can get free mana, so that is a win-win situation. By the way, that transformation magic also provide the magical girls a Superman level disguise. As a result, no one can identify their real identities, and they can carry out their normal live as usual. <laughs> After explaining to her, Kakoa went back to sleep and ignored Toka. She tries to wake Kakoa up, but it is useless. Luckily, that witchcraft thingy entered her room to explain the situation. It told her that she must defeat six monsters in this town. However, she is still a newbie, so her power is weak. This is why they are trying to make the public to recognize her by retweeting every cultural video of her. By doing that, they can increase her embarrassment and her mana at the same time. Now, that is some big brain move. <laughs> それはもちろん魔力をたくさん貯めるのです。昨日のように露出したり、リビドーに襲われるのは良かったですよ。
and informs her that she must do the same thing as yesterday. Suddenly, she is ambushed by Kakua. She took off her battle gear for the meme. After that, they start their work and went to find the other monster. When they encounter the monster, he told them that he liked cultural selfie. Kakua wants Toka to deal with the monster again. She wants Toka to increase her power as a magical girl. After listening to that, she has no choice but to tank the damage. He wants Toka to take cultural selfie and send it to him. I guess he is going to start a single player game while watching that. After she showed him her melons, he wants to see her tunnel for academic purposes. She has no choice but to obey him. After showing him that, he requested for more pictures. He is literally her only fans at this time. Luckily, she is a dedicated content creator, so she gave him more pictures as requested. After that, he wants her to record a solo Let's Play in 4K and send the raw footage to him. He is going to upload that to a cultural website and get sponsored. After a few minutes of gameplay, Toka cannot handle it anymore and ended the game. She also released a lot of Gamer Girl Holy Water for her viewer, which is him. Too bad he cannot drink it. After she is done, a guy suddenly walked by and saw her gameplay in 4K. This is her lucky day because she gains another viewer. However, she is in shock and does not know what to do at that time. Her gameplay is exposed to the public. <laughs> That guy suddenly transformed back into Kakua. I guess she is trying to troll Toka for some top 10 prank moments. Toka is very relieved after that. Kakua told her that she has already defeated the monster. On the next day, they confronted another monster again. He wants Toka to roleplay as his wife. As expected, she accepted his request. He is very happy and repaid her with a lot of monster energy protein. At least, she can get a good load of protein this time. They also meet other monster, but I'm not going to elaborate about that. One day, they meet a strange monster. It seems like he is very obsessed with Magical Girl. Luckily, his target is Kakua and not Toka. He used his power to launch a curse spell toward Kakua. However, the anime title only has Christir in it, and not Tearheart. As a result, Toka, also known as Christir, was used as a shield by Kakua. So, the curse landed on Toka. This made him very angry and disappointed because he spent a lot of time producing that skill. He informed them that this curse will cause a Magical Girl unable to undo her transformation. This mean that Toka is stuck as a magical girl now. In addition, she must constantly receives a lot of protein or she will become weak. I don't think that this is a curse anymore. Well anyways, there is always a way to break the curse. When she asked him about it, he does not want to tell her. He is so done with his life right now. Kakua asks Toka to extract protein from him or she will become weak. <laughs> So, she is the one making the first move now. By the way, they are doing this out in the open, and there are a lot of people watching them in 4K. They are also recording their gameplay with their phones since her gameplay is royalty free and free for all. She is very embarrassed because this is her first time live streaming in front of many viewers. <laughs> However, she persuaded herself to become brave and takes on this challenge to break the curse. After that, she takes on his joystick like a magical girl. I have absolutely no idea why did I say that. Moving on, she is playing a bouncing simulator on top of him. He is only loyal to Tearheart, which is Kakua, so he is trying to resist her like his life depends on it. However, her gamer skill is too strong and he admitted defeat in the end. He has accepted her now and gave her a lot of protein as an apology. Feel free to do that in real life. After that, he has lost the battle and vanished into thin air. Her curse is also removed, and she is a free magical girl now. Kakua praised Toka for beating the monster in a one-on-one -on -one battle. <laughs> this means that she has improved a lot. Her viewers also thought the same too. They are cheering her and clapping their hand. 
I'm surprised that they chose to clap their hand instead of her. She is very happy. It seems like she has accepted the life of a magical girl. At night, they want to defeat the last monster. What a surprise. Their battle strategy is the same as usual. Toka has to tank the damage again. When he is in a battle with her, he seems to be in a bad mood. He is not satisfied at all although he gave her a lot of protein. Kakua told her that they are not getting any sort of mana at all. <laughs> This means that Toka is not feeling embarrassed at all. After that, the monster spawned his companion to join the battle. This has become a Fortnite Battle Royale now. They are trying to take down Toka with their protein blast. This is her first time getting into this type of battle. The monster thought that she is done for. However, he did not realize that Toka is still going strong. She is actually enjoying the battle and taking a lot of protein blasts like no tomorrow. As a result, they have accumulated enough mana and Kakoa defeated the monster as usual. Since that is the last monster in this town, this means that their work as the magical girls is over for now. Toka can finally take a rest from getting protein blasted all the time. However, the floating thing suddenly informed them of bad news. Well, it might be a good news. There is a lot of monsters from other towns are coming to this town, and her in the future. They must have heard about her defensive power as the magical girl. This means that she is going to get protein blasted again as usual. She did not see that coming, but she will be coming a lot later. Well, that is the end of my recap for this cultural anime. This anime currently has two episodes. These are the comments and feedbacks for this anime from a cultural website. So, what do you guys think about the magical girl battle in this anime? Let me know in the comment section below after you watched it alone, or with your families.